Hi everyone and welcome to Nettle. This short video is from the Excel 101 series and today we will learn how to use the sort tab as well as the sort function to quickly and efficiently sort data in Excel. As an example, we have got a pretty simple data set on our hands, 10 employees as well as their hours worked per week and their annual salary. And it's a very uh, common and natural task to sort your data, sort the employees uh, by their hours worked, for example, from smallest to largest, or by their salary. So here, let me first show you the sort tab and this particular approach, which means that we have to first select our full data set and then click on sort. Then we'll be able to specify whether our data has headers. Uh, Excel most of the time uh, does recognize it automatically pretty well. It's pretty smart in this regard. Here, we can leave this box ticked, but if Excel has not recognized it properly for your data, you can tick or untick it uh, as for your liking. And then we can specify what we want our data sorted by. We can select here, uh, sorting our data by, for example, hours worked, and we can uh, sort this data from smallest to largest, from the uh, shortest work weeks to longest work weeks. And that sorts our employees uh, immediately. And here we see that we have got some uh, employees that work exactly the same number of hours, 32, 33, and 37. So let's introduce a tiebreaker. Let's introduce the second level of our sorting. And that's as easy as anything in terms of our uh, sort tab. We can add a second level of sorting and sort employees by salary paid um, smallest to largest, for example. And that would uh, break the ties and uh, it would, as we expect, flip employees 8 and 9 here as employee 9 makes less than employee 8. And indeed, that's exactly what the sort tab does to our uh, data set. However, uh, there is an easier and more efficient and more flexible way of doing it using the newly introduced sort function in Excel. Let's first get back to our initial raw data, simply sorting our employees by their ID from 1 to 10, and uh, sort our data using the sort function over here, selecting a 3 by 10 cell range and inputting the sort function, first selecting our data that we wish to sort, then uh, specifying which column do we want to sort by, so let's, uh, for example, say that we want to sort them based on salary, then we need to introduce the order, ascending or descending, one for ascending, negative one for descending, so to spice it up, let's just input minus one for descending order, from highest earners to lowest earners, and then uh, we need to specify whether we want to sort our data by column, so shuffle the columns around, that would be one, or zero, sorting by rows, uh, shuffling the rows around. And we want to shuffle the rows around, so we need to input zero here. Then we can enforce this function using shift control enter, and that would automatically sort our employees from highest earners to lowest earners. What is even more exciting about this function is that we could simply change our parameters here, for example, introduce two here instead of three, second column instead of third, means that we would sort uh, based on hours worked instead of salary paid. That would immediately rearrange everything. We can then change negative one to be one, so uh, sort it in the ascending order instead of in the descending order, that it performs this particular sorting automatically. And what is even uh, more important uh, in terms of this particular approach is that if we change our data, our sorted data would also change automatically. For example, if we figure out that uh, employee 6 overworked a little bit, and they are now working 43 hours a week, then our sorted data would reflect that automatically. Now employee 6 as at the very bottom, at the very highest worked row. And that's how to use the sort tab as well as the sort function to easily and efficiently sort data in Excel. Please leave a like on this video if you found it helpful and stay tuned for even more short, simple and intuitive uh, tutorials in the Excel 101 series.